Hi everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about the three gifts that loss gives you. I often talk about that there is a gift in loss and so today we're gonna to talk about those three gifts and kind of clarify what I mean by that. But before we get started, I wanna let you all know there's only one more day to register for the Let Go Level Up Sedona Retreat. I am relocating, so this is the last opportunity that you'll have to work with me with your own spiritual healing, alignment, heart healing, and all the integrations. They're crazy powerful, but it's the last opportunity that you'll have to do that with me in Sedona. So if you have not registered yet, send me an email or contact me below this video immediately, um, and I'll send you a link to register. So we, the deadline is July 13th, and that's tomorrow. So I wanted to get that announcement out there right away to make sure you all knew that tomorrow is the deadline. All right, so let's get started. I'm Diana Palm, and I am the medium helping you heal the grief from heartbreak and loss. Today, we're going to talk about those three gifts. Now, when you experience loss, this could actually be a breakup, divorce, or death. Loss creates a big destabilization. Um, it changes everything in your life, the world you're creating or the paradigm that I like to call it. Once we start to put energy and invest ourselves into a certain life that we're creating with somebody, we organize all these other people around us, right? We orchestrate things. Our jobs are in alignment with each other, our routines, our friendships, our entertainment, all these wonderful things that fill up a life experience. Now, when there's a breakup, divorce, or death, there's a sudden ending to the reality that we've created. Now, this is what I call a soul opening experience, and that is your first gift. A soul opening experience is, is painful, of course, but it's a cracking open wide of your soul, making you search for answers, making you go deep inside yourself and giving you that time to really assess and reflect upon the life that you were creating, the lessons that you took in and how this shaped you and shaped who you've become. So the soul opening experience is really a journey. It's a deep journey within. And the only way you can really reach this part of your soul and ignite this part of your passion is through a crumbling, is through a loss, is through something so radical and so severe that it cracks you wide open. When people have had many soul opening experiences, they're usually on an incredible path as a healer, a leader, uh, somebody that, that guides others because they're going through more of these adjustments than the average person does. I know people that have had maybe one or two soul opening experiences in their life and in reflection, they're always something that really puts them in a different course in their life. They're so thankful for them looking back, not for the loss of the person that, that left their life through divorce, breakup or death, but through the growth, through the personal development that occurred because of it. Now, there's others of you that might identify with me. I've had many soul opening experiences. And it's so weird because it's like getting the ejected from the life that you're creating. It's suddenly like, where's my stability? How am I gonna ground myself? What, what is important? What am I taking with me forward? And so you start to really reevaluate things. And I can say that each of the life paradigms that I've lived, each of the relationships I've fostered, each of the families that I belong to, each of the communities that I participated in with, I loved all of them. And then you get moved forward. And that's a hard thing. When you get moved forward, uh, people always say they don't like change, or they'll, they say they like change, but they really don't. <laughs> they might like change like, oh, I'll change my coffee or I'll change the way I drive to work. But big change, change that seems like it's coming from the outside of you, change that is moving your life in a different direction than you anticipated, that is scary. That's destabilizing. And that is a soul opening experience. There's so many gifts in this. And so I want to encourage you to be brave and to continue to navigate through this process. Don't let it close you down. Please do not get stuck in grief. Please do not stay in an energy of blaming others around you. There's a reason and contracts involve, which means soul contracts, 
those around you participated in a contractual agreement to be part of your special, unique journey and to also be one of those people to push you forward out of that particular space. So that's a big one. Take a deep breath with me. <laughs> when you experience this, there is soul alignment for you. There is a new purpose. There is a new path. You may not see it yet, but it will reveal itself if you stay authentic and true to yourself. If you stay in alignment with your own healing, your own adjustments, and you need to clear out the clutter. That's part of the letting go process. So the soul opening experience is the biggest, most precious gift that you can ever go through in life, even though it is the most challenging thing to go through in life. So that is your first gift. Your second gift is the actual emptying out process. It is what helps you to recalibrate and get into alignment. Now, what I mean by that is when you merge into relationship, you, you both bring your, your wants, your desires, your needs, your, the paradigms you're living, your, your life um, patterns, the different things you have going on in your life. I got these friends, you have these friends. I have this family, you have that family, you know, and we merge, we merge that. And often what is created in those in-between spaces is a life of its own. You know, many pieces come together and you share that experience. It's, it's beautiful. And not all of those go through the distance. They're not meant to. So when they, there's an unraveling and coming apart, you're able to bring back to yourself the things that you found value. You bring back the things that are important to you for yourself and for your own journey. And you also get the blessings that you learned from the other person, the different experiences that you shared in together. So this enhances you and allows you to uh, be in a different space, a different elevation as you move forward. That's the level up. So in the let go level up, this is all necessary. This is how we get there. So many people stay in that, that energy again of grief, unhealed grief, stuck in grief, focusing on the loss, what they don't have anymore, instead of realizing all these gifts that have been trying to move you into a different space in your life. Um, we resist change. Like I said, people say they like it and they don't. <laughs> but if you stop resisting the change and you stay really centered in your heart, you'll notice your emotions are calm. You find joy every day. You can still go through the letting go process, but it'll make it much smoother and much more um, efficient for you and beneficial for you if you're able to actually retrieve the blessings, the gifts, the love, the experiences, and all the things that were deposited into your soul that moved you in a, in a really good way that added to your life experience. So that is gift number two, is the recalibration to your own alignment. Bringing those gifts out of the relationship, all the different experiences that helped boost you forward. The third gift that we talk about is a self-dedication or a rededication to your divine life purpose. Now, like I said, when we merge with another person, sometimes we get off path and it's not really off path. Again, it's the part of the merging, part of the thing that's moving us forward. We wouldn't gain the emotional clarity or maturity if we didn't have these relationships that go together and come apart or if we come together to love somebody and they pass. These are all necessary, so they're not technically taking you off your path. They're depositing different skills and abilities emotionally for you to actually get on your path to the next level. So they're all meaningful and they're all powerful and they're all in alignment, even when it seems like they're not. But the rededication to your life purpose is, so let's say you start off you know, maybe you go to college, maybe you take a lot of courses, maybe you're doing some incredible entrepreneurial um, business and all of a sudden you get connected with somebody and you are maybe not focusing on that so much because other things are taking place. You love the life you're living, you're enjoying yourself, you're having fun with new friendships and new connections and then all of a sudden there's a severing of some sort. And when that happens, you recalibrate. Going back to... Do I love what I was doing? Would I change what I was doing? Do 
Do I take all these new experiences and add it to what I was doing and bring it forward in a new way? It gives you this opportunity to revisit and reclaim your divine life path. It's always going to be enhanced. It will never be your original vision. And that's the beautiful part of life. We continue to develop and evolve and our version of life and our our creation of our own life evolves through every single life experience that we have. So reclaiming your divine life purpose with a, a higher calibration of alignment, that is your takeaway. That is your gift. As you know, I work with people in reconnecting them with their loved ones in the afterlife and helping them to recalibrate to these these soulful changes in their life through my number one spiritual grief healing program and it's such a pleasure i love working with you guys in this way because it's really deep personal work and it brings that clarity and confidence back to your life and it helps bring meaning to the things in your life that have been very painful where you may have doubted their importance or judged the other person or judged yourself harshly it really brings peace to your heart and shows you the purpose of every individual person and event in your life. It reveals your soul contracts. It helps you to really navigate forward um, as you move forward out of a loss. So I have that program available for you. So let me know if you're interested in working with me. You can actually send me a call. I have a link below this video. You can book a call with me and just see if this program is a good fit for you. Otherwise, you can also check out the program at www.dianapalm.com. Okay, so let me see. One of the things it's important to say, one of the things that your soul is always encouraging you to grow. And so when you have reached a plateau, it could be in relationship or you could be single and reach a plateau, you most likely will not move forward until you experience a soul opening experience. It is these things that ignite the flame within you to motivate you and inspire you to make changes. And it doesn't mean that anything you're living before was wrong. It just means that you've reached a plateau. And because your soul is here to have this experience, it does not want to know what tomorrow is going to look like. It does not want to know that you're going to have the same day tomorrow that you had 10 years ago. That is living in a constant state of the past by recreating the same day over and over. So to fully embrace your soul and fully give yourself permission to be alive is to recognize your soul growth and to, to allow yourself to be fed by the growth that you experience in life. Your soul does want to grow and through the soul opening experience, very difficult losses we, we go through, this cracks it open and allows us to get those three gifts, the three things that really help you to elevate and get on the next level in your life. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I covered everything, so I'm just looking over my notes. Um, yeah, you may ask yourself if you're going through one of these experiences, soul opening experiences, you might start to recalibrate some of the questions you might ask yourself. You know, like, how did I get off course? People become judgmental on themselves. And they're like, how did I get off course? I should have never let this person do that. Or I should have never given to that. And, you know, when you're in that energy, you're not understanding. That is not what the lesson is about. Sometimes we need diversions or we need a root off of our focused path because there's some blessings we're going to receive in the, in the, um, the other route. <laughs> so we have to release our control on that. You cannot control outcomes and you cannot control other people, but be, be certain and know that every time you got off path, your soul was receiving some other added benefits that you could never have anticipated that you needed. These things are what you bring back to you when you steer and get back onto your course. So nothing is a waste of time. Nothing is truly getting you off your path. That's the really important thing to know. So there really is no judgment, not for yourself or others. You're always on your path. Sometimes there's little, you know, detours, <laughs> but it's still that detour is part of your path. 
Um, many people ask me like, what could I do to reclaim my, my divine life purpose? Well, part of this experience is going through the process, the three gifts, understanding that your, your divine life path will be revealed because you'll be taking parts of your experiences that you learned as you went through each soul opening experience and through each detour. So these are things that feed your soul that allow you to grow from the inside out and bring you into a natural place of alignment. So if you're trying to create your life and you're just really pushing and you're making it hard and you're, and you're in an energy of struggle and sacrifice, that's actually gonna block your luck and your opportunity. So it's enough to just be in alignment. And what that really means is making peace. Make peace with where you're at. Make peace with yourself and make peace with the situation. Make peace with the events in your life. Sometimes it's hard to do from the human perspective because we can get caught in drama. You need to get a higher perspective and then view downwards on the whole experience to really understand what your soul was learning through the experience. Um, when you can do that, you can stop blaming and you can stop judging yourself too. And that is what helps move your soul forward, bringing you that peace, which is in alignment. It is your natural state of being. And that is where you magnetize and draw to you all these beautiful things and opportunities and luck and love and money and all the stuff that you, you hold close to you that you really, really want. That's how you get it. It's being in alignment, being in peace being in joy and everything else just calibrates to you, is attracted to you magnetically by you being in that state. So that is, that's a huge tech takeaway from this. Um, your loss helps you to recalibrate and it will help you to restore your own faith and your determination to move forward. So like I said, those, those soul opening experiences, those bumps in the road, they're there for you. They're not happening to you, they're happening for you. And each person that's involved will understand on a soul level uh, their own truth within the experience, their own takeaways, so to speak, their own blessings and their own gifts. All right, you guys, if you feel like you are stuck in grief and you're not able to integrate these lessons and you'd like some deep spiritual help to really get your contracts, your soul lessons, and release soul fragments from previous partners and clear up the energy or reconnect with your loved one in the afterlife for inspired life changes. All of it is in my program, Reconnect. I'll have the link below this video. So I wanna ask you one thing. I want you to put it down in your comments. Um, what are you learning and how are you integrating this experience? So if you have had a soul opening experience, and I know you have, you may be in the middle of it right now, or it may be something of your past, and maybe you didn't know you were supposed to get these three gifts out of it. I want you to take a moment and think about it and tell me those beautiful takeaways. Put them right down in the comments below this video. And if you're interested, again, I'm just gonna repeat what I said in the beginning. Tomorrow is the very last day that you can sign up for my Let Go and Level Up Retreat in Sedona. It's the absolute last time that you'll have the opportunity to be working with me one-on-one -on -one with all these amazing healings. We're going to do heart activations, DNA upgrades. We're gonna do some really beautiful, beautiful, powerful healing in the vortex areas. Um, it's a really amazing experience to go through. I'm gonna also teach you how to connect with your loved ones, spirit guides. We're going to recalibrate you, align your chakras. We're gonna have a sacred cacao ceremony and live music. It's a fabulous. I will uh, actually add that link below this video as well. So watch for that link. If you wanna sign up, you're gonna have to contact me directly um, and then I'll send you the link for payment. So don't wait, this is your last chance. I will not be doing this retreat again. This is the last one. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. Continue to send me your questions and how I can help you shift the grief experience within your life and understand your soul lessons and how you're being more um, aligned for your future life path purpose. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.